Kia ora, hello, we are a couple, a couple of, of Kiwis. Kiwis and welcome to East Coast Food Village or East Coast Food Centre, depending on who you ask. It's about 6pm on a weeknight and we are meeting a local friend here who we're going to have some food with, share some local delicacies and figure out the best stalls to try when you enter the Lagoon Food Centre on East Coast Park. My tummy's rumbling. Me too. So let's go. So when you come to a hawker centre, make sure you bring some cash because a lot of the stalls it's easier just to pay cash, decide what you want to order um, and then go. So we're going to order a few dishes and then we're going to sit down and share them with you. So one thing also when you come to a hawker centre is make sure you pack some tissues. So you put them on the table and that's a trophy. So this table is ours and we can leave it and no one else will take it. Okay. So it's time for a little bit of history first. So the hawker here is actually built on reclaimed land, which is quite incredible. The land was reclaimed during the 60s and 70s. The hawker opened in 1978. Uh, that's enough of the history facts. I'm hungry, let's go get some food. here with our dear friend Melissa who is a local and enjoys a lot of the food scene around Singapore. Um, so we've selected five dishes today. So we've got our first one, what's this one? Hokkien mee. Hokkien mee and that's like a bit of noodle seafood ish. Yeah. We have sambal stingray, black carrot cake, so it's radish? Uh, radish. Radish. Radish with some soy and Goodness. We've got our typical satay which we know and love and then this is something new to us which is sambal sotong sotong which is squid which is like a squid like squid cuttlefish so we're gonna dig in uh, Matt's gonna try some things to you I'm gonna try some things to you we're gonna have a great time and eat our food well that's pretty easy for me I love carrot cake now for our Kiwi viewers out there you're probably thinking carrot cake I don't see any carrot cake here so here in Singapore this is called carrot cake and it's made with what? Radish, spring onion, prawn, soy, soy on. eggs. So it's it's more of a satay taste than a, um, sa and a savory taste than a sweet cake. But it's, it's so, so good. good. So this particular one is the black uh, carrot cake. You can get black or white carrot cake. The black one for me definitely tastes better. So now we're going to try the Hokkien Mee. It's a noodle dish, like stir fried with some seafood. I don't know what the sauce is. Is it like an eggy type sauce? Mm -hmm. Like an egg type sauce. Got some sambal and some lime over the top. Um, this is only something I've had like maybe once or twice. So I'm excited to try it from East Coast Food Lagoon. So give it a go. Real seafoody. Like I really like the seafood from it. It's delicious. Definitely put this one on your list. What do you got there, Matthew? Okay, so this is stingray. Now I've had stingray a couple of times now and I remember the first time I had it, I had a lot of I don't know, I was a bit worried about it. It's not a, a common food in New Zealand and I didn't know what it was going to taste like, but the first time I had it, I actually really liked it. So, and I think actually the first time I had it was here. So, here we go. Delish sambal. The sambal. Mm. <laughs> Got a bit of spice. Just oh, a little just bit. Just a little bit of spice. <laughs> but it's so like flavoursome, and the meat on it is actually quite. There's quite a big chunk of meat, considering it's only a small sea small creature. Little sea creature. Yum. And I think the next one we got is this. Yeah. Sotong. Sotong? Sotong. Sotong. Kind of name is squid. Squid. So cuttlefish, squid, same thing. And I love squid. It's like one of my favorite seafoods. Yeah. And look at that delicious spice. So good. I love spice. Do you guys like spice? Do you like spice? You don't like spice. I like spice. <laughs> All right. If you're not adventurous, and you come down to a hawker centre, you can't go wrong with satay. It's just delicious. We've got some chicken and some beef, is it? Beef satay, but you can get mutton, you can get pork. 
little bit of sauce on there and you can't go wrong, it's just delicious. Yum. Okay, so that is dinner done. Stomachs slightly bigger than they were when we arrived. One of the unique things about uh, this hawker centre is it's right on the waterfront, hence the name East Coast. Uh, so we're going to go down to the beach now and take a look at one of the most unique views that you'll get in Singapore from the beach. Definitely a view that you wouldn't really have in many other countries in the world. Alright, I'm hoping you can see me well, there's not a lot of light here. All these lights behind me, you might be mistaken and think that's uh, part of Singapore city or maybe across to Indonesia. That is all boats and more specifically container ships. Sorry for anyone that gets uh, a little bit annoyed at people calling them boats. They're ships and it's all the container ships and they can wait up to weeks to get into the Singapore port to either drop off or pick up whatever they need. Uh, so it's quite remarkable. And it's even better from the air when you're flying in at night and you can just see the kilometers and kilometers of uh, container ships waiting to get in port. Look at them, all the way down there. So we're literally rolling out of the food village tonight. We're so full because we've had so much fun and we've had lots of laughs and chats and been introduced to some delicious food by our good friend Melissa. So if you are new around here, make sure you click the subscribe button and give this video a like because we're going to bring so much more content and you may even see this lady again yes. sometime soon. And that brings the vlog to a close. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time on A, a Couple, couple of, of Kiwis. Kiwis. Yeah, no, nah, definitely. Thanks for watching.